You know, in my old apartment, I used to live across the street from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar General, and a funeral home. <laughs> so I literally could shop until I dropped, and I'd be just fine. It's not often you walk through a thrift store and see a beautiful piece of Bavarian china. Gosh, that's beautiful. Come join in us all. The feeling is here today. Come on now, let's go. Caroling through the snow all day. Mm, we've been good, but we can last. Hurry, Christmas. Hurry now. I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good safe week and I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and maybe did a little shopping yesterday on Black Friday. Today I, I want to go through my very favorite Amazon favorites, things that make my life better. I've got clothes and supplements and makeup and skincare and yeah, just fun stuff. And I love doing this once a year because you always tell me it gives you Christmas ideas. So that's, that's fantastic. So, and at the end of the video, I, I want to go through something that happened to me on, on a Facebook post and, and a memory that I had. And I wanted to share with you um, that experience. I am so glad you're here and we're going to have some fun. So... Let's do Amazon greats for 2020. <laughs> All right, I wanted to start out with hair. I have seen more videos on hair in the last week than I have in the last five years. <laughs> My theory on this is that 2020 was so stressful that weird things are going on with our hair. It's thinning, it's falling out. Lord knows what's going on with our hair. But I wanted to share with you three products that I use that certainly have, have helped me a lot this year with the thickness of my hair and growth. And the first one is a supplement that I take, Hair, Skin, and Nails by Nature Made. And I have mentioned this before that, you know, this is not expensive. I get this off of Amazon. It's always in stock. And this is the only supplement that I have used that I have seen continued results. So I can't recommend that enough. The other thing that I do for my hair is three nights a week, I will massage coconut oil into my scalp um, or on my scalp. <laughs> it sounded a little drastic, didn't it? Um, and then I just go to sleep. Now, I only do that three times a week because I have to wash my hair the next day if I'm going to do that. But it's a, a wonderful soothing treatment for your scalp and if you have a healthy scalp you're going to have really healthy hair. What I love to use on my hair that I order from Amazon is this L'Oreal Frost and Design and I love this for two reasons. It gives me a really nice blonde color, not a gold blonde but just a blonde blonde color that looks very natural in person. It's hard to get blonde hair to look natural on film unless you're a real expert with lighting, but in person, it's very, very pretty. And the other thing that I think is superior about this particular box color is that it comes with a leave-in toner. How cool is that? Now, another thing that you can use if you're having trouble with orange brassiness with your hair is a shampoo by John Frieda and this is Violet Crush. This is excellent. This is a purple shampoo 
The price is right, it's around $9, and it's beautiful. It really will tone down your brass, if you know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying, but th this is really good. I order it from Amazon, I love it. You like that coconut oil? You like the way it smells, don't you? Yeah. You like your, your bow ties from Amazon? I think you do. You know, there are a couple of household items for decorating that I absolutely love that are in my Amazon favorites of all time. And number one is Sherry Blum Art. And you all know, you know, you, you guys that have been with me a long time, you know how much I love her art. Just a, a beautiful, a angelic artist that that had a way, the way that she painted flowers just really spoke to me. And Sherry Blum, she passed away, I believe in 2005, she was only 34 years old. But her art lives on. And so on Amazon now, you can get Sherry uh, Blum's prints. You can get them, just the print, or you can get them framed. I have some very special ones that I love so much in, in my bedroom and they give me such inspiration. Right before I moved, I sold a set of my beautiful Narataki china because that china held some very sad memories for me. So what I did is off of Amazon, I ordered this pattern from Pioneer Women. This is called Blush Rose. I loved the, the green and the yellows, and I don't know, I, I just, I love the way the mugs look so cute. Uh, these dishes are uh, microwavable, and they can go in the dishwasher, but they really look so elegant, and I don't know. They look old-fashioned, and I, I love that. that. That's very happy for me. You know, I am always showing you a very pretty uh, pink and blue quilt that I got off of QVC. I love that for my bed in the summer. And in the spring, I have a lovely bird quilt that I have tortured you with because I love that bird quilt so much. I even got like a little um, birdhouse as kind of an accessory for, for, my, for my bedroom. Okay. Anyway, I, I finally got a beautiful winter quilt. I thought, well, this is the time, right? Going into winter, I wanna kinda cheer myself up and I knew I was doing my bedroom in greens and whites. So I thought, yeah, this would be perfect. So this is my new quilt and this is so pretty. I just love it. It has all my favorite colors and I, I wanna now, you know, uh, take you in my, my bedroom and show you a close-up of this beautiful quilt and give you some details. But this is definitely an Amazon favorite. Uh, this is my bedroom and this is my brand new quilt. I love it. It is all the colors that I was looking for. The ivories, the, the peaches, and the, and the dark greens. So I just absolutely love it. I don't know, do you remember the movie Groundhog Day and and Bill Murray keeps waking up in this bed and breakfast under a quilt and I mean it, it's not like this quilt is is the same type of quilt as that movie but it's the same vibe. Desi, Desi I'm trying to show the quilt. De Desi can you move? Can you just get down? Desi get down. You know I didn't buy a bed skirt for this because I love how that scalloped edging looks against the wood of my bed but this quilt is pre-washed and pre-shrunk, so you're not gonna have any trouble uh, with it not fitting your bed. This is a queen size for me, and I love it. This is not a picture of a quilt. These are actually individual squares that are sewn together. Does it get down? Let, let mommy show the quilt, okay? All right, come on, go get puppies. Go, see, there's a puppy out there. You're not gonna move, are you? You're just not gonna move. You know, even in winter, I am not a fan of dark quilts. There, there's something about that that 
I don't know, I want my bedroom to be light and happy. And even though there are dark greens and, and peaches and rose, it is broken up by this beautiful, beautiful white. And for me, that just made it just just so beautiful and so special so I'm so excited about this quilt you know the one thing that we do here that I think I love the most is we get to talk about skincare and I order three products from Amazon over and over again and none of these products are gonna surprise you but two of them you know are, are K-Beauty products that I get from Korea but um, the snail essence I love this. I wouldn't be without it. So I order this a couple times a year from Amazon. The way it plumps my skin up, the way it evens out my tone and helps my texture. Yeah, I got to have it. So this is by uh, KazRx and I get it off of Amazon. And staying with K-Beauty from Korea, I get the Azure Serum. I know you love it too. So we, we all love those two. Uh, products from Korea and we are using a cream from Italy that we get from Amazon. This is the um, Nutri-C night cream. We use the day cream. It's just full of sunflower oil, argan oil, everything that is good for our skin. A lot of antioxidants and a lot of things that are just healthy. a lot of girlfriends my age and what we all loved you know when we were growing up in the, in the 70s and the 80s we loved our sunglasses and we loved our lip gloss so what I have done is this is a beautiful beautiful set of lip glosses that are in the most beautiful decorative cases and it comes in a beautiful box and this is this is just so so creative. I will link the, I will make sure I link this below. But it's so cute. So I have given this in a box. I have put the the lip glosses that we all had to have. You know, we weren't allowed to wear lipstick when we were 13, so we had our lip glosses and pretended it was lipstick. But we also had our oversized sunglasses that we love. So on Amazon, my very favorite sunglasses are these. Are these fabulous? When I first saw these, it was, um, oh, the sweet gal, uh, Leanne says, uh, she has a channel on YouTube. I'm sure you know who she is, a sweet young girl. She could be my granddaughter. But she wears these, and when I saw her in these, I had to have them, and that was a couple years ago. But I wanted to share with you three tops that I love from Amazon and one is an old favorite that you always comment on. I, I showed it a few weeks ago and you wanted to know where you could get it so it is my tried and true, my beautiful, um, my white blouse. You can get this on Amazon in blue, in red, in green, you name it. It has you know very beautiful uh, lace sleeves it's it's a very romantic flowing design. It has very beautiful wood buttons that are completely functional. This is, it's just a beautiful material. The only thing I would say about this blouse is don't put it in the dryer. What happened to me, I had this in uh, white and black and both of them, the lace melted in the dryer. My dryer was just super, super hot. So what I do is I wash this on gentle in the washing machine and then I just air dry it and that, that works out just fine. The next two pieces of clothing are tops I just fell in love with. They're little baby doll tops that are so romantic and they're very artistic and you can dress them down, you can dress them up. I saw Marnie Goldberg 
in this particular baby doll top. I absolutely fell in love with it and I ordered it and I was not disappointed. This is true to size and I ordered this one size up and I shouldn't have. So they are true to size. So I have a black one on the way and that one I ordered in my size. But these are so artistic. I mean, they just make you look like a, I don't know, a free thinker, an artist, you know, kind of New York, 1965. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I love these tops. And I got the one in rust. You know, the material you would think was silk but it's actually just a blend of cotton and polyester and spandex. So this one is more of a pink champagne. So I, I wanna model these for you and, and see what you think, but if you've put on a little weight, a little um, quarantine weight in this last year, well, I tell you what, it's not gonna show in these tops, <laughs> but they're so I just think they're for a baby doll top, they're elegant and they're timeless. It doesn't matter if you're 90 years old or if you're 20, you can wear these. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times oh. I really like the reading glasses at the Dollar General. And, you know, now that I moved, I didn't know where a Dollar General was, so I Googled it, and lo and behold, <laughs> it's right up the street from me, not too far, right around where I grew up. But the building that it's in is an old A&P from the 60s that I remember going to with my mom and my grandfather. So I was just flooded with these memories of, of the A&P. And... Anyway, I posted it on Facebook. I found some old pictures, pictures of the A&P. And one of, the, one of my sweet gal friends uh, on Facebook said, well, yeah, that's where my mama got her green stamps. And like, oh, green stamps, oh my gosh. I hadn't thought of green stamps in 60 years. And so I started researching. I, I, you know, I, I wanted to get a picture of what the green stamps looked like in 1960. And then I saw, I I saw all the advertisements, all the all the beautiful ladies of 1960 with their tiny little waists and their perfect smiles and their little, you know, perfect hairdos and they look so pretty. They look so petite, so lovely. And I remembered, you know, how, how my mom would sit at the table with her little wet sponge and she'd, you know, get the green stamps, you know, all nice and moist and I would help her. Um, put those green stamps in the in the book. So so now I finally get a chance as an adult to see what Mama was saving up for. You know, the pretty hats and the gloves and the and the dresses and you know. My mom, she had a hard life. She worked two jobs. She was a hundred pounds overweight. I always knew my mom felt less than, she felt disconnected, but I never really understood it until I was looking at the ads for the green stamps. And I, I realized how my mama must have felt. You know, she loved her, she loved her movie magazines and Debbie Reynolds and Elizabeth Taylor and Sophia Loren, you know, and I think my mom lived in this fantasy world and 
and, and, and she loved it. That's where she felt safe because she was so shy. So in knowing how disconnected she felt, it made me realize how I feel right now as I'm approaching 70. That, that feeling that as time goes on, you feel more and more disconnected from the womanhood that is celebrated. You know, ladies in their 20s and 30s and so on and so forth, you start getting a little bit farther away. And I know that a lot of you feel that way too because you write me, you say, you know, well, you know, I haven't bought lipstick in a couple years because I just don't feel relevant anymore. At 70, sometimes I can't remember why I even comb my hair. That's the reality. So that experience this week made me realize that that feeling of not being relevant, not being part of, That's how my mom felt. And as I am now at this age, I get it. And I think it's a fight. I think it's a fight every single day that we not give in to those feelings of feeling disconnected. And we have such tremendous value until the day we die. And even after that, we have our legacy. When, when my mama was in hospice, three weeks before she died, I went to visit her, and the hospice nurse had put a little blush on my mom's beautiful skin and a little lipstick, and the nurse had done my mom's nails. And my mother never, ever had her nails done, ever. But she had her nails done that day. And when I walked in, I said, hi, Mom. And she said, look, Susie, look at my nails. They did my nails. And I realized that at the end of my mother's life, she did feel relevant. She did feel connected. Because she felt loved. And that has had such a profound effect on me this week. And I think it has given me an extra tool to help me feel good about myself in the coming years. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. And if you get a chance, down below, could you share what your favorite Christmas song is and, and maybe why? That would be so cool if you had time to do that. So please have yourself a, a good, safe, brand new week. And, and when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. Perhaps we never really know a person until we see life through their eyes. And even then, it's only guesses. But with love, it's a start. It's a start.